Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here inside of Cobble Zombies. My last top 5 glitching video was around a week ago and from then there has been a bunch of new glitches which have been found and are pretty good so let's just get into our new top 5 best glitches. Also do note all of the glitches that are present in today's video are working as of the 1.20 patch. So let's get into our first glitch in the video. Getting into our first glitch of the video, this glitch will be located on the map Meow Toten. You will need at least two or more plays in the game and your host must kick the other players that are not doing the glitch from your actual game of Meow Toten. To kick these plays from the game, go to your socials and then click on the player's name and go remove from party. Your teammate will now go to the Corba rooftop and from here he will go onto the zipline and pause as soon as he activates it. Furthermore, you the player that is going into the glitch must use the zipline from the other side. When you are ziplining across the player that his paws will block you from heading to the other side and this will make it so you now fall into this area. In this area, when you are standing up, zombies can hit you. However, if you are crouched, zombies won't be able to hit you. In this spot, the disciples can hit you and also the tormentors may do some damage toward you. Furthermore, if a zombie drop is dropped right in front of you, you will be able to pick up the zombie drop, allowing you to get max ammo, insta kills, etc, etc. If you are going for cameras in this spot, I recommend that if you're going for headshots, stand up and if you're going for normal kills, just go crouched. Glitch 2 will be located on the map Firebase Z. To do it, you will need at least your Ether Shard to be tier 3 or above. Heading into our first step of this glitch, make your way toward this crate in the spawn area. With your Ether Shard, look toward this balcony, and then what you want to do is jump and Ether Shard toward the balcony. You have now successfully skipped the first door on the map Fire Bazi, and from here, go through your game as normal without opening the spawn door. So, when you are ready for the glitch, make your way back to the spawn area and then come toward this pillar. From here, slowly edge off this pillar, and once you're in the area, I am stop moving, and then the zombie should start pulling up in front of you. In this spot, the only thing that can hit you are the Mangler's long-ranged attacks. And also, to get ammo, you have to get out of the glitch and get some from an ammo cache. Heading over to glitch 3, this glitch will be located on the map the Machina. To do it, I'd recommend they have the Juggernaut perk and also some stims to make your life a little bit more easier. Anyhow, getting into the glitch, you will need at least two zombies trained up in the crash side area. What you now want to do is make your way toward this crash plane wing and with these zombies behind you, simply prone in the area ID in the clip here. Now that you are prone, you want to simply extend up, then go prone, stand up, and then go prone, and keep on repeating this action. Eventually, the zombies will either push you under the map directly, or they'll push you to the side, which you will be stuck. If the zombies have pushed you toward the side, and you are stuck in this little area, simply down from the zombies, and then push a little bit back, and if done correctly, you should be in the under map glitch. However, the area you are in right now when you revive yourself is a death barrier, but simply go to a right jump over this slope, and now you should be in a non-death barrier area. In this spot, zombies, playgrounds, and megatons will be piling up on top of you, meaning that you can easily kill them and go for high rounds. If you need ammo, there will be an ammo cache located below the broken plane wing. Simply come to it, jump up, and then grab some ammo. Last thing quickly, if you guys need to get out of this spot to either get more pack-a-punch weapons or to get some extra perks, simply come toward this area with the Ether Shard at least tier 3 or above. What you are now going to want to do is place your crosshair where mine is and simply Ether Shroud forward. If you have done this correctly, you should be successfully out of the undermap glitch. So for the second to last glitch in today's video, this will be a jumping spot on the map Meow de Toten. To do it, make your way toward the Corba rooftop and from here, you're going to need at least one zombie left in the round. With this zombie trailing behind you, simply do a strafe jump toward this air vent. As you're doing the strafe jump, simply mantle onto the air vent and then push a tiny bit back as you do so. If you have done this correctly, the zombie should pull up down below you. So jumpies have kind of changed since the last patch. So what would happen now is that when a zombie is piling up down below, there will be a 45 second timer until they will throw meat at you. What this basically means is that when the zombie piles up down below, the second they are right down below you, they will have at least 4 to 5 seconds until they will stop and then throw meat. What I tend to do is just kill them fast and you shouldn't have a big issue. Anyhow, apart from that little issue, the only things you must worry about are the Panzer Sodats and the Disciples. And also quick bonus, you can pick up zombie drops down below you. And for glitch number 5, this will be a jump in on the map de Machina. To do it, make your way toward the particle accelerator room and keep one zombie left in the round. Bring this zombie over to this iron cage and what you now want to do is mantle onto the cage and push back whilst you do so. This may be a little fiddly but eventually what should happen is that the zombies should pile up down below you. Just like the last glitch there will be around a 4-5 to five second timer until the zombies will throw a meat at you. Just as long as you guys are killing them fast you shouldn't have an issue and also the megatons and the playgrounds can hit you. In this spot I would recommend that you have the ring of fire fuel upgrade to fend off the megatons. And just like the last spot you can pick up zombie drops down below so for max ammo, insta kill or a nuclear drops you can pick it up. If you guys 
guys are wondering where the Melda Totem under map glitch is, and honestly, I'd recommend that you check it out. I tried, guys, for three to four hours, and I couldn't get it. However, there is a video down below by Kaz Pussy, which shows a great explanation how to get into the glitch, and I'd recommend that you check it out. But with that all said and done, if you guys have enjoyed the video, then please do consider smashing the like button, as it helps the video spread out to more viewers on the platform. And also, we are on the road to 5k subs, so if you guys want to help that grind out, then please consider subscribing. It does really help out the channel tremendously. Anyways, till next time, goodbye.